Our work is primarily translational in the sense that we work with patients, we have a direct conduit to the laboratory, and we try doing whatever we're doing in the laboratory, focus on getting that information back to the patients. In the laboratory, we work with a number of different types of tissues, primarily tumor tissue. From that tumor tissue, we try isolating a lot of the information that's contained within there with the hope of being able to diagnose better, diagnose earlier, treat better, treat earlier, treat in a manner that's smarter than we've been able to do, and really improve the quality of a patient's life. RNA is particularly important to us in that there's a lot of information contained within there, more so, it would seem, than actually in the DNA. Every day we keep re realizing more and more things that RNA can do. For us in our laboratory, one of the main things that we're looking at as we're studying cancer is really understanding how the RNA message that's being made, every message that's coming through in that tumor cell or in the normal cell, how do they differ? How do they respond to drugs? How do they respond to treatment? How are they not responding? There's so much information content there. We're able to now sequence that information and get that kind of static image to understand at that time, what is the cell saying? But to be able to do that, we need good ways of being able to isolate high quality RNA. We need to be able to sequence that RNA and get the complete information, the entire transcriptome of what's being made. And then we need a way to interpret that to make sense because there's so much information there. How do we then do experiments to really test hypothesis? And so collagen products are quite important to us in that they really represent a way for us, one, to isolate high quality RNA, isolate high quality DNA proteins, but in a way that we can do it consistently and reproducibly. We have one chance to get the best quality sample, one chance to deal with that sample. And the information content that's there, once we've finished sequencing, again, collagen products in the form of ingenuity pathway analysis and some of the other products that collagen has wrapped together into a bioinformatics suite, really allow a laboratory to take the information, look at it in a reasonable, understandable way, and actually sort that information that we can then get a next hypothesis to test and understand what's going on in the cell. We've been taking, in particular, patient-derived cancer cells that we've been working with and really studying the RNA to understand what is that tumor cell expressing? How does it differ from its neighbor, a normal tissue? How does it differ from another person's tumor? Or how is it the same? The RNA gives us that leverage into really trying to achieve a precision medicine approach.